at Fifth Third Field. Winterfest continuing game number two. Fort Wayne leading Toledo though after 20 minutes by a score of one to nothing. We'll show you that first period coming up in just a little bit. But first off, uh, we have on our set with us Nick Vitusi who uh, played yesterday yeah. in the alumni game. Toledo alumni, by the way, with a seven to two win nice. for the Fort Wayne Comet alumni. And uh, Nick, first off, before uh, I mean, it was great to see you put the pads on yesterday. It was great to see yeah. all of the old faces back again. How much fun was it yesterday? It, it was a lot of fun, Matt. You know, I, reflecting back on it, I mean. When I first came to Toledo, Doug Mahood, Jim McCabe were, you know, just great ambassadors of the sport still here in Toledo with their involvement, obviously, in color commentating. Jim McCabe did games. Doug Mahood has been a longtime youth hockey coach after he retired. So those are two of the, the gold diggers that I really got to know a long time ago. And then, you know, the five or six storm players that I played with, Judson, Suey, McDonald, and, and those guys. And then the three or four storm players that I coached and Perillo, Tes Teske, Raska, and then obviously the walleye players that I've been fortunate to coach as well. It was a great mix for myself to, to you know, get back in an alumni game and, and uh, rub shoulders with all these guys again. It was a lot of fun. Now, as Scott and I talked about this, you did do a little, I mean, you were getting ready for this. It wasn't, uh, I, you, know, I, you know, just didn't go out the, you know, a couple days yeah, prior and yeah. just, I'm going to throw the pads on. You've had them on a few times. About three weeks prior, actually, it was on a Thursday, uh, four players from the walleye weren't going on a road trip, so I skated with them, and then that night I went on with some retired players um, out at Ottawa Park, and no word of a lie, Matt, driving home from Ottawa Park at about 11.30 at night, I really wondered if I ever played the position in my life before. It was just <laughs> a really tough day. I went on another time, felt a little better, went on um, on uh, New Year's Eve, we had ice at 10.30 in the morning, and really felt a lot more comfortable. So going into the game yesterday, uh, you know, all of us, we want to go and have fun, but we're competitors. We don't want to embarrass ourselves either. So it was uh, it, it was a lot of fun out there. I will say though, you made some great saves in the game. But well, I think you. Ted Tucker had you beat though. That great. first save of the game, 30 seconds he, in, he he's set, throwing out the leg, to make a great save. He set the bar early, didn't he? He didn't <laughs> even give us time to catch up. I mean, he he set the bar early. But it was a lot of fun. I was glad that he did well. Obviously, Ted doesn't play goal at all anymore. Right. So, and again, another person that you have pride in what you used to do, and you hope you don't embarrass yourself. Yeah, really, it was a lot of fun, and 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 hopefully we uh, can carry on a few more of these. It'd be great to see. Here's a look at some of the video uh, from yesterday. John Penn right there. Yeah, had a goal great, for What him. a game yeah. he had. Yeah. Uh, in there as well. It was good to see Randy roll back uh, as well. So many great names. Uh, Phil Rauk even played yeah. in. He just retired last year. I, I'm playing back there. You know, Roe, uh, Wes O'Neill and Phil Rauk are D partners. And I'm like, boy, that was a reliable, reliable <laughs> D partner for, for these guys here uh, two years ago with the walleye. So it was nice having them in front of you in an alumni game. Yeah, it certainly was. And uh, what a great uh, day, and, uh, you know, getting to see uh, all of those familiar faces. I got a chance to catch up with some guys that I haven't talked to uh, in recent time. Sure. Ian Duncan, one of yep. them, uh, got a chance to chat with him for a while too. And uh, just great to see so many old faces. Ian's back. son skated with us on New Year's Eve. Brody plays for the Cherokee here in town, the junior team. Really nice hockey player as well. And I know you also had uh, your son out. Keeping, I did, uh, yeah. Skating too, right? You know, that was a lot of fun, Matt. Like, uh, I, I think, you know, special events like this create special memories. And, and that was one for me. I. Uh, I've always wanted in Keegan's hockey career that someday he would get to a point where I could be in one net and I can watch him work 200 feet away from me in another net. And I had a smile from ear to ear uh, that morning playing with him and, and it was a lot of fun seeing him playing against these older guys and you know much better pace than he's used to. And he hung in there pretty well, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it really was uh, yesterday, Nick. Uh, and, and you know what, while you're here, I gotta ask you a little bit because you know Scott and I were kind of reminiscing a little bit. Uh, when I first started doing any hockey broadcast, was 2002 at Bowling sure. Green, yeah. and Scott was the Absolutely. head coach then. Yeah. And then, you know, now think back to when you started playing, yep. and all the way back into the late 80s, oh, uh, yeah. when you got playing in pro in this league. Never thought you'd see an no. outdoor game in this it, league, did you? You know, Matt, I, I remember one of the first road trips I ever took in the ECHL. I, I ran out to the lobby to make a call to my parents after the game to let them know how we did. And I'm looking up at a sign in the Vinton, Virginia arena, and it, the sign read, Firearms Prohibited. And I'm thinking, where the heck am I in a hockey arena that you have to be reminded that you can't bring firearms to an arena? And you know, you fast forward now 27, 28 years later, 
teams are affiliated with NHL teams. We've had over 500 players move from our league to the National Hockey League, and now a spectacle like this. I mean, it's incredible that the, the, the league and, and all the people in charge of the league, most recently Brian McKenna, and how far it's come, and obviously great organizations like the one we're fortunate to work for, too, with the Toledo Walleye and Joe Napoli and the staff and the hard work and the vision that they all have to come up with something like this. It's remarkable. Yeah, it certainly has been. What a 10 days it has been out here. And we even got to see Nick Patusi throwing on the pads uh, yesterday for the alumni game. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Appreciate Matt. it for Thank coming you. on here.